hello guys um this is an exponential equation particularly on the board that i want to explain the question is 2 to the power of 2y minus 8 to be equal to minus 2 to the power of y plus 1 so generally is an exponential equation that is going to lead to a quadratic at the end of the day so the question is to solve this that is basically find the exact value of y so for those of you that have not subscribed to my channel i'm saying please click on that subscription button for you to get great content like this and more so let's get to it all right so this is 2 to the power of 2y minus 8 to be equal to minus 2 to the power of y plus 1 beautiful now i have the power of y here i have also the power of y here so this is basically 2 to the power of 2y and a minus 2 to the power of y plus 1. So I'm going to bring this that is at the right hand side to the left hand side. So that means the sign here, the, minus, the negative sign is going to change to a positive sign. So this is 2 to the power of y, 2y plus 2 to the power of y plus 1 and minus 8 to be equal to 0. Beautiful. Now recall, recall indices. Now recall indices, particularly the power law that says the power law that says if we have a to the power of two multiplied by b. Now the powers multiplies themselves, and you get a to the power of two b. Beautiful. So this is the idea I'm going to apply here. Also, recall um, the addition law of what indices, that if you have a to the power of two, multiplying a, this now becomes a to the power of three. Why? Because this a here has a power of one. So the powers add, add up themselves and you get that. So applying these laws here, we're going to have two, to the power of y and bracket raised to the power of 2 basically from this idea again plus 2 to the power of y multiplied by 2 basically from this particular idea and i said this is what addition law addition law minus 8 and is equal to what 0 okay now since i have 2 to the power of y here I also have a 2 to the power of y here so let's define this let's define this this and this so this is i want to say let's p be equal to what 2 to the power of y beautiful so i now have p and a bracket with a square plus p here times 2 minus 8 to be equal to 0 okay so this is basically p squared plus 2p minus 8 to be equal to what? 0. Beautiful. So this is a perfect quadratic equation. Beautiful quadratic equation. So what we're going to do here is what? Find the factors of, find the factors of what? This quadratic equation. Now since we have 8 here and we have 2 here, basically the factors will be what? 2 and 4 because 2 times 4 is 8 right and we have a positive sign here so this will be 4 minus 2 4 minus 2 which is what positive 2 and um 4 times 2 4 times minus 2 which is what negative 8 beautiful so we have p square plus 4 p minus 2 p minus 8 equal to what so these are the factors that I talked about. These are the factors that I talked about. So I replaced the factors with this middle term. So if you don't know how I got this, please. There's a video I did on how to get what the factors of a quadratic equation. Just go slide through my videos and you see that particular videos and go through it. Thank you very much. So let's continue. So what are the common terms between these two pairs? And these two pairs basically we have p because p squared means 
we have two p's so we have p and a bracket as if i factor out the common term here i have p here and p in a bracket plus four sorry this is four just these two pairs so this this p square means we have two p's and four p here so if i factor out um p from four i have just four if i factor out one of the p's here i have this and minus these two pairs what are the common term the common term is basically two because two can go into eight and is what four times so this is two and the bracket also there's a p here right so i'll put that down the p and now because we're putting these factors in the bracket i'm going to put a plus here because there's a minus here so that if you open the bracket you get the minus so this is plus four and is equal to what zero beautiful so at this point i'll clean this part okay so the factors now are these ones that are outside the bracket we group them the ones outside the brackets are p minus two and pick one of the brackets we have p plus four equal to zero beautiful so this particularly means that this bracket is equal to zero and this bracket is equal to zero so we're writing that we have either p minus two is equal to zero or a p plus four equal to zero so solving this particular expression we now have this to go to this part like this minus two crosses the equality sign also minus plus four crosses the equality sign so the first one p is now what two the, and the second one is what p is equal to minus four why because it has a plus sign there all right now recall that our p was given a perfect definition as what two to the power of what y so but p is equal to two to the power of y right so we're, we're, we're asked to find the value of y not the value of p we've gotten the value of p now we'll now go back to what we defined um p to be which is this so at this point now we'll now equate this particular p pick one of the p and equate it to what what we have there but it's not going to work at this it's not going to work here because we have a minus sign here so we're going to pick this and we have so this imply i'm using this two is equal to what two to the power of y two to the power of y so this is now now the the power of this particular um number is one any number that, that um has a power of one is that same number so this has a power of one so this is two to the power of one to be equal to two to the power of y good so looking at it you discover that um the bases are this are the same the base are the same so the base will go and we have our power as the final answer so this implies that y is equal to one so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video you can drop any question you have on this particular video and um thank you very much